Hi everybody, I'm Thierry from Hadway Rocket and today we're going to see how to use the Blocks Anywhere which is a tool part of the toolkit add-on, our latest product. So I've installed the toolkit and on the left hand side I've accessed the toolkit page and I see a few tabs including Blocks Anywhere on which you'll find a small guide on how to use it. Blocks Anywhere is essentially to display an existing block within content where WordPress shortcode are supported. This video tutorial is the basics of how to use Blocks Anywhere and then I'll make another video for the advanced settings and go through a couple of limitations. So I'm going to show you how to use the Blocks Anywhere shortcode within content and for that I'm going to my sample page. So at the moment I only have content and to illustrate that I'm going to view the page. So in Headway I drew a header block, navigation block, a simple content block, default query and widget as well as a footer. So I have my content here when I view the sample page and I would like to display a slider within the content. So for that I've created a page which is called my shortcode blocks on which I've drawn a slider block and this is the block I'm going to display within the sample page content. Now that I have my block created on my shortcut page I'm heading back to my sample page and I'm going to add my shortcut by first adding a space and then clicking on the headway rocket icon and now I'm ready to search for the block I add. So in this case I'm going to search by the block type which is slider and I can see that it gives me the ID and the layout it is on so single page my shortcode page this is the block I want to add so I click on add shortcode I can see in the background that it has been added and it tells me it's been added so if I close the light box here I see blocks anyway ID 14 which is the block I want to display so I update the post and view the page. Right now in my page on which I only had content before I now have my slider block. As simple as that the only thing I need to be a little bit careful with is some of the blocks such as the slider block calculates the block width to resize the image so in this case I just needed to be careful and draw the block the right width to have it displayed properly. There are different scenarios in which the blocks anyway will get a little bit more complicated and for that I suggest you watch the blocks anyway tutorial advanced option and limitation. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.